Hey, in this video, I'll show you how you can uh, display dynamic items uh, on a button input. Um, so before we had this feature, uh, the only thing you could do with the button input is to add items uh, statically, like so, item one, item two, etc. Now with dynamic uh, items, you can actually choose a variable to display these items dynamically. Uh, so we can now choose a variable and keep in mind that this variable needs to be a list uh, of strings. So uh, what I did in this, in this example is that I set the items variable uh, to this uh, list of three options, option one, option two, option three. And as you can see, it will display these items um, dynamically. Uh, but this scenario is not a real scenario, so I'll show you what I just uh, created, which is a new template actually, um, which is called a movie recommendation uh, bot. So let me explain what this uh, bot does. Uh, the idea is that it will use um, the uh, TMDB, the MovieDB API, um, so that you, it, it can recommend movies uh, for you. So it first displays uh, a menu uh, where you can uh, select a genre or see what's uh, currently trending in the movie space. Uh, so if you select um, the first item, select a genre, it will um, call the API. So let me just show you quickly how it works. It will call uh, the API with a GET request. This API call will just return a list of genres. So what you can do is that you can save uh, the different genres into a variable. So with this last uh, option here, and you can say, okay, I want to map this data. So the names of every so i want to select the names this value has been generated automatically as you can see i can select um, the third item here um, which corresponds uh, to the names all the names that are displayed here and i can save these names uh, into the genres uh, variable and we also need to map the genre ids because we'll need the id uh, for the subsequent request. I'll show you that in a, in a second. So then I can display these genres using this newly created variable, and it will then uh, set the selected genre uh, variable. The issue here is that we cannot uh, make the subsequent request with the selected genre uh, variable. We actually need the genre ID. Um, so we need to map it uh, in a new variable called um, selected genre ID. And this code will just uh, map the genre ID to the selected genre so that we have this new variable called selected genre ID. And then we can use this selected genre ID uh, for the next request, uh, which will actually get the movies with uh, this genre uh, applied to it. Uh, so as you can see in the query params, we can set a key variable um, with genres and there we can insert this selected genre ID. And then the idea is that it will return some movies uh, for this specific genre. I hope that makes sense. Um, and then the idea is to save the movies and also the movies ID. So same, uh, same thing than before for the genres. And we can display the movies uh, with buttons uh, dynamically as well. And then we'd select the movie and it, we also map the selected movie ID uh, with the same index. And then we show a sort of a summary of the selected movie. Uh, we'll display the image of the poster and we'll display also the movie overview. So we, we get these details uh, with this endpoint. Uh, we pass it the selected movie ID and it returns um, details of this specific movie with, as you can see, um, so IMDB ID, the title and the poster path. And we save these variables uh, like so. We map the IMBD ID uh, to the IMBD ID variable. We map the overview to the movie overview variable. And we map the poster path to the poster path uh, variable. We recreate this uh, poster URL because the poster path is not the full URL. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess here, but that works fine. And And then we have two buttons. Either you want to watch the movie, so you're redirected to the IMDB page or either you want to find something else so that it jumps to the menu at block seven and the block seven is basically the, the last block, uh, the specific menu, and you can select uh, other things. So let me show you how it works. 
Welcome to our film recommendation bot. It is powered by the movie DB API. How can we help? So select a genre. Select your desired genre. As you can see, these items are dynamically uh, pulled from the API and displayed to the user. So I can select maybe, I don't know, maybe science fiction. And it says here are trending movies for the science fiction genre. Um, and I can select, for example, Spider-Man No Way Home, and it will display uh, the poster URL. It will display a small description, and then you can choose to watch the movie. It will um, pop up uh, the IMDb page for this specific movie. And then in the second uh, option, we can choose uh, what's currently trending, and it will display just a list of popular movies uh, this week. So for example, Babylon. Uh, extend choice, the poster image, the description, we can uh, find something else, etc. So the idea of this template, which is now publicly accessible, if you create a new bot, uh, you can select this uh, template. So uh, feel free to uh, have a look. Uh, but this template is showcasing a bit how you can uh, display dynamic content that has been pulled from an external, um, an external service. So yeah, thank you for watching and let me know if you have any question uh, in the comment. Bye-bye.